Greetings, football fans. My name is Eastring, and these are five things you need to know going into week six of the NFL season. Number one, Saquon Barkley injured his ankle. Early in the Giants at Cowboys game, America's Game of the Week, Saquon Barkley awkwardly tripped and in the process stepped on a defender's foot. The fall twisted Saquon's ankle and his ankle almost immediately started swelling up. This is bad news for fantasy owners who drafted Saquon in the first or second round of their fantasy drafts. Saquon could be seen in the Giants locker room after the game on crutches. His availability for week six is in question, but be prepared for the worst, Giants fans. Number two, the Chiefs continue their losing season. After a two game losing streak to both the Ravens and the Chargers, the Chiefs seem to be back on track against the Eagles. Although on Sunday Night Football, under the lights, the Chiefs played poorly and lost at home to the Buffalo Bills. Patrick Mahomes threw six, has thrown six interceptions in the first five games of the season, which matches his interception total from all of last season. The Chiefs need to bounce back fast. The LA Chargers are on a surge this year. They've won four straight games and their hot streak doesn't show any signs of stopping. The Chiefs currently sit in last place of the AFC West division. Number three, the Arizona Cardinals remain undefeated. Coming into week five, the Cardinals were the only remaining undefeated team in the league and they continue their unbeaten streak heading into week six. Their performance against the San Francisco 49ers wasn't great, but as I always say, a win is a win. If Kyler Murray could continue to make big plays, the Cards may keep their unbeaten streak for a lot longer than any of us expected. Number four, the Panthers lost to the Philadelphia Eagles. After the first three games of the season, the Panthers were looking fantastic, but it all went downhill at the end of their week three Thursday night showdown against the Houston Texans. In that game, Christian McCaffrey left with a hamstring injury and his availability remains uncertain. And their rising rookie cornerback, J.C. Horn, broke his foot and is out for the remainder of the season. The Panthers have since lost two straight games to both the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. The Panthers season remains uncertain, but if their defense can't return to their star-studded first few games of the season, the Panthers may not make the playoffs. Number five, Russell Wilson is out with finger surgery for four to eight weeks. Russell Wilson is the best player the Seahawks have ever drafted. Russell has rarely missed any games due to injury. That is, until Aaron Donald of the LA Rams slammed his hand into Russell's middle finger on his throwing hand, and in the process, basically ruined the Seahawks playoff hopes. Geno Smith looked great as the backup for Russell, throwing more yards in two drives than Russell Wilson threw all game. If Geno Smith can step up for the Seahawks, that would be fantastic for the fans, but it's highly doubtful that he can match the pure dominance Russell showcases on the field. And that's all for today's video. If any of these things or facts make you feel uneasy, always remember it's only week five and your team can turn around at any point in the season. I mean, except for the Jaguars, you know, Jacksonville, it's, it's, it's not in a good place right now. Bye.